I think the, the biggest impact that's, that students have had is clarity of material in a timely fashion. Uh, the area that it's been most helpful is, is organization, having kind of the one-stop shop. I think that the iPad is really causing them to ask questions. It's fostering their curiosity in ways that perhaps they haven't had before, and they're having to find ways to, to problem solve. Everyone's more focused because there's something in front of you that you're hands-on with instead of like you're looking over at your friends or something and like talking to them. Instead, you're looking at your iPad, focusing on like what the homework or what the teacher's saying. I think one of the interesting aspects of this is I thought originally when you put technology in the classroom that the kids would be so focused on the technology they wouldn't interact as much. But the opposite is true. As they started to use the technology, they've interacted more because they're all trying to figure it out and they're asking questions of each other and they forget that they're shy. When I give them a formative assessment, normally I would give it on paper pencil, take it home, try and grade it as quickly as I can, bring it back the next day, teach them a new topic and say, okay, I gotta try and talk to these five kids who totally didn't get it and do that sometime during work time. Hopefully I have time to do that the next day. Now what I have them doing is, it's grading it automatically on Skyward or Schoology. I'm getting the results on my iPad as I'm walking around before everybody's even done with it. I'm correcting certain kids like, hey, I saw they got one out of five right. Here's what I noticed you're doing wrong. The communication level with the parents, they can also see all the formative assessments they've taken on Skyward. So then they can access all that. They can see, oh, this is what my student answered. Here was the correct answer. This is what they're doing wrong. Schoology is a school version of a social network so that you can have your students all come to one place and get their information. They're enrolled in all of their teachers' classes, so they just click one link and there they go to their science class or their math class, whatever it may be. It's interactive, where the kids are working back and forth together. It's more user-friendly as far as posting pictures, posting assignments. The great thing about Schoology is if I post an assignment in my class, the student will have all of his or her classes together, and on the calendar, everything will show up that's a big assignment for all of his or her classes. So you look in one place. More than anything, it's a place where kids can communicate with each other. For instance, after school, if they have questions about assignments, somebody can post their question and then other kids can respond and so they can get help from each other at night when the teacher may not be available. You may have a classroom discussion going on and you know as a teacher there's that wait time, waiting for five, six seconds to, to give kids a chance to process. Well, for some kids, five, six seconds isn't enough. Some of that processing occurs at seven o'clock that night and the responses that I get when they go on the discussion board is nothing that I saw in class. It was they needed more time to think about it. I post online assignments and the kids write you know, essays and, and papers and, and are able to turn those in to me on the computer paperless. Um, they submit them and then I can go through and grade those, make comments and send them back to them all online. So almost like a kind of an internal email type thing with attachments, um, but that way the kids get to see their feedback quickly and with comments made. We can take our number line and we can do this and we can bring it over negative one, negative two, negative three, etc. Positive one corresponds with a negative. negative one. The smart board is unbelievable with being able to have everything that's on my computer available to me and to the kids. I can use the same lesson over and over. I can keep developing and improving it. The kids interact with it. They're so into technology. I can embed websites with it. I can do Excel spreadsheets with it. They can come up and write on the board with some different interactive um, things that we do. It just helps, I think, the kids get more involved in what we're doing, and it's, I think, enables me to be a better teacher. One thing I love about it is that like, I can show video on my smart board, and when I pick up a marker, it'll stop, and then I can actually draw on top of the video, and I can illustrate how everything is made up of shapes in the world. The most important things for me is that it's able to project my voice around the whole classroom. And so when students are spread out in the classroom, they're able to hear me without me raising my voice. It just has made such a huge difference in the way that I can approach the kids in a more gentle manner. I don't feel tired at the end of the day, which is a very big difference for me. It's just creating more of a positive feel in my classroom because of how quietly and gently I can speak. Before we start, I'm going to ask Sam to make a mistake so we can see what happens when he gets things right and when he gets things wrong. So Sam, no pressure. So 
then he can go back and when a teacher's not there, he can say, well, I know I played it wrong, but how did I play it wrong? He takes the mouse and he clicks right on the red note. It'll show him what he did wrong. It said that he played a G flat or an F sharp. Now I go back and I click on the note that I'm supposed to play so I see how to play it correctly. We use two pieces of software in here. One is Finale, which is an indus industry standard notation program, and it allows us to do a lot of tailoring to what you know, specific thing we're composing. The software is a really equalizing agent because we all couldn't perform the music that we want to compose. Research has shown that if you supply technology, hardware and software without any training or support, it doesn't get used effectively. So we've made a big effort here in Minnetonka to provide our staff with numerous opportunities for technology training and follow-up support to ensure that technology is fully integrated into classroom instruction. When I came into the district, it was kind of on the cusp of the, the technology movement. And at first, I really didn't know how to do much or didn't know how to implement it into the classroom. And I really feel throughout the years, I've received support and guidance in terms of what I can continue to do to really improve how I present the material to the kids. Just when I think that, you know, I, I really can't do anything more, I'm given an opportunity to learn and to reflect and to share with my colleagues. And that's really the times when we continue to evolve with, with how I'm presenting the material to the kids. You can see the grades right away and then you click on that particular class and can see all the assignments, all the participation and all the quizzes. Um, just kind of on an ongoing basis so when he comes home from school and I say how did it go, I really know how it went. I think technology allows teachers to be a lot more creative. Um, there's a lot of different uh, ways that they can reach kids with a lot of different learning styles. Um, there's just so many programs out there and so many tools at their fingertips uh, with digital cameras, with smart boards, with projectors, with multimedia things that we've never been able to use as extensively in the past. We were blown away by the power of this technology as a tool for learning. So proud of the Minnetonka School District and the commitment that they're making as leaders in education.